watching the Fox 8 4 o'clock news with Natalie Wilson, Chad Tucker, and Kate Garner. Hurricane Harvey has grown to a Category 3 hurricane. This means now wind speeds could reach up to 120 miles per hour. This is a live look from Galveston, Texas. The rain already there is expected to get a whole lot worse. Yeah, they're calling it downright dangerous. Mm. Warning about catastrophic flooding. Kate, I know you've been keeping an eye on this. What can you tell us as it develops? It really is life-threatening flooding mm. out there. We could see anywhere up to 18 inches to 21 inches of rain across parts oh. of Texas. It is it is something that people really need to keep their property safe, but more importantly themselves. Mm -hmm. And you know, the winds and the flooding are a huge issue. Uh, winds at 120 miles per hour will flatten things. So it's just very important that you just stay safe. I would say get out of there you know it's it's just not safe at this point right now I'm going to show you precip totals thus far we're looking at four to five inches in some spots but as this makes landfall a little later it's less than 100 miles off the coast we're looking at extreme extreme amounts of storm surge wow. so wow. yeah so let's talk about it all but I want to start locally here at home I know many of you want to make your plans so take a look at the Fox 8 max weather tower cam over Winston-Salem right now and you'll notice looking good out there. We've had a good looking and a really good feeling few days. We've had temperatures in our area start to decrease quite a bit. That will continue into this weekend and I'm going to let you know when rain chances occur back home again, but we have been dry today. So as far as temperatures are concerned, 80 in Moxville along with Yadkinville, 82 in Winston Salem, 83 in Greensboro this afternoon, 84 in High Point and 82 degrees in Ashboro. So it's warm, but it's actually cooler than the temperatures that we've had over the last few weeks. Over the next two days, take a look. We had the system go through, and as it did, it took a lot of moisture with it. Into tomorrow, we're going to stay fairly cool. It's going to feel really, really nice. And one thing we've noticed is the humidity has gone down, and I think that has felt excellent, and that will be the case through the weekend as well. You're going to love the forecast lows that you see, uh, but I want to mention this evening, 73 degrees here at home, partly cloudy and pleasant, and then overnight tonight, 64 degrees, partly cloudy skies. Football frenzy tonight. So take a look by kickoff 77 degrees. You're going to see a few clouds out there, but it'll be a beautiful night by halftime. Feels great at 73 degrees and then for your drive home 70 degrees out there. All right, let's talk tropics. Now we talked a little bit about it while we were on the couch a second ago, but I want to make sure that you are fully informed of exactly what's going on. So we're looking at a category three hurricane now again, less than 100 miles off the coast, so it should make landfall tonight or tomorrow morning. So it really is a toss up between exactly when, but I would prepare for tonight because again, 70 miles off the coast right now. So winds at 120 miles per hour gust at 130 miles per hour. So winds are a huge deal with this storm, as is the flooding possibilities. Take a look at the track, though, because what you'll notice is when it does make landfall, we're looking at over 100 mile per hour winds decreasing to the 80s, decreasing to the 60s, and then decreasing to the 40s as the days progress into next week. So winds are a huge deal along with this life-threatening storm surge out there. Now, as you take a look at some of the wind speeds that we're dealing with right now, these are currents, uh, past and currents, 49 miles per hour in Corpus Christi, 35 miles per hour in Brownsville. And let's take a look at Houston as this comes up to the current time, 31 miles per hour there in Houston as this continues to try to make landfall over in Texas. Now this is a live look at radar. Take a look at the spin here and I'm going to zoom in. I want to show you some precip totals. These are Doppler radar estimates of what has fallen in the area thus far. So Corpus Christi looking like close to two inches in some areas and close to an inch and a half in others. As we move further north here in Texas near the Bay City area, close to three and a half inches in some areas and closer to four in other areas as you get closer to Bay City there, heavy, heavy totals already. Now, as we look at Texas City, we are looking at close to four and a half inches of rain in that area and then over in Louisiana because you know Louisiana and Mississippi also going to get hit hard with these rainfall totals. We are looking at close to three inches in Cameron. As I zoom out, what I want to show you is another look here at radar because this is a look at radar over Louisiana and it's areas like Lake Charles that are really going to be getting hit hard and areas like Alexandria as well. So rainfall totals out there right now, according to the European model, we are looking at uh, close to 20 inches of rain falling in Galveston, Texas, over 20 inches in Houston, and just over 10 inches in Austin. Now, closer to 19 inches in Corpus Christi, and then Lake Charles seeing close to 10 inches of rain there. As we look at the GFS model, take a look. 21 plus inches in Houston, close to 13 inches of rain in Austin when this is said and done. 
and close to 15 inches in Galveston. Corpus Christi looking at close to 16 inches there. So as you take another look at these rainfall totals, I want to go back to the European model for a second because as you look at these, they do compare quite nicely. We know we're going to have rainfall totals in the teens over the next few days. This is rain that could be life threatening. I cannot stress that enough and we've been talking about it. So let's jump back over to the GFS model quickly. Now, when you look at rainfall totals in the 21 inch range, that is feet on feet of rain and it's just going to be a big mess. So this is not something that as the rainfall ends, as this hurricane starts to move out on Saturday, that is going to go away. This rain will sit. It will be still for a while. It's just something that could really leave lasting effects in Texas. Your heart just worries for those folks down there. Yeah. All right. Kate, thank you so much.